In this video, I'll be showing you how to activate international markets in Shopify. Now, this is going to be a very quick and simple tutorial, so make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss any important steps. So, the first thing you want to do is just open up your Shopify dashboard, and once you're on that page, it should look similar to what you're seeing on screen now. So, from here, we need to actually access our settings, and we can find that in the bottom left corner. So, we can come down here and click settings, and from there, we get taken to this page, and we get put on this store details tab. Now, there are a few different things we need to do to fully activate our international market. However, the first thing we need to do is go down to markets. From there, you'll see all of your active markets as well as any inactive markets. And as you can see, I've currently got United Kingdom active. However, international down here is inactive. So in order to activate international markets, we can first click on international. And from here, we can actually change it to active in the top right corner. So we can look for this inactive button here. And when we click on it, we'll actually have the option to change it to active. So we can select that. And as you can see, this now gets changed to active and there's now a green dot next to it. So we can click save. And that means that we have actually now activated international markets, but we're not done yet. So the next thing we need to do is actually go over to our payments and we can find that right here. The reason for that is because since we've now activated international markets, we might have to actually accept extra payment providers, which we didn't accept before. And we can do that by either replacing Shopify payments by clicking down here and choosing a different provider. Or you can come down to supported payment methods and you can choose to add a payment method. And from there, we can actually find a new payment method which we didn't have in our store before. And there's tons to pick from. We can choose by payment method or by payment provider. So regardless of which payment method we need to accept, we will be able to find it in this list. So now that we've activated international markets, added some international payment methods, we now need to sort out our taxes. So we can do that by coming over here to taxes and duties. And you actually need to start setting these taxes one by one. Now it does say here, if you're unsure about where you're liable, check with a tax professional. So if you're unsure what you should be doing in these sections here, it might be good to talk to an accountant. It may be good to talk to a tax professional to see if they can help you out so that you can be charging the correct amount for taxes and duties. So now that we've done that, we can now move on to the final step, which is shipping and delivery, which we can find right here. And that's because we need some new shipping rates since we've now got international orders. So we want to go to general shipping rates and we can click here, general. And down here, we'll be able to find all the shipping zones and we can look right here to find international. So we can click show all to see all the countries that it supports. And in order to actually edit it, we can either go over here and click edit rate. And we can start editing it this way. Or if we wanted a completely new rate, we could click add rate and we can start adding in a new one. However, once you've completed all the steps mentioned in this video, you will have now activated international markets on Shopify and you'll now be ready to start shipping to international countries. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.